Hey there, David here. I am uh, gonna give a little quick video on a uh, some moss that I found in my backyard. It's really cool looking under the uh, stereo microscope with this. Um, as you can see, it's uh, just typical moss that you would find in a shaded area. Um, I found this on the side of my house and, uh, and um, looks really neat without even the microscope, but let's take a look at what it would look like uh, when we get it magnified. All right, so I'm gonna put the, uh, the moss under the uh, stereo microscope here. This is an AM scope um, microscope. I'm just gonna slide it right under there, like so. And over here, you can see that it shows up on the monitor. Try to get that centered. And right now it's blurry, so let me go ahead and uh, and get it cleared up. There we go. Take a look at that. Is that neat or what? That's little moss. So it's right down in there. And... That's what you get when you magnify it. I'm gonna use a stick and just show you what. Here's a, here's just a bamboo skewer that I have. And that kind of gives you an idea of size there with my finger. So when we put it under the microscope here, you can see over here how, what the size is. Right there. Ooh, I'm moving it too much. All right, so that's what the moss looks like under the microscope. All right, so let me uh, put a piece into the compound microscope and see what we have. So you can see that I've prepared the uh, moss, just a really small piece uh, for the microscope, for the compound microscope. And um, it's not gonna show everything because it's, you know, it has to be really a small sliver for the light to get through, but there'll be certain points in this little piece of moss that will uh, have light come through it and you'll be able to see some details of the piece of moss that's really small right there compared to even over here which is pretty small and um, and so let's take a look at what it would look like under a compound microscope so we're gonna mount it over here with one hand there we go. All right. All right, so this is the moss. Uh, this is actually the base of the moss uh, stem. And um, I'm gonna show you the whole uh, piece of moss here. This is at 80 power. Uh, so 80 times the actual size. And it kind of gives you an idea uh, and then uh, I'm going to move over to the 200 uh, power. Let's give us a closer look. And you can see here a little bit more definition, uh, the cells in the plant, um, especially at the base because it's thinner. You can actually see the, the, um, the chloroplasts there, which are the, the cells that contain the chlorophyll. Uh, those little green items inside the chloroplast are the chlorophyll, and uh, that um, allows the uh, plant to get energy. Um, then the next one is um, 800 power. You can get a really good view of the of the chlorophyll in in the chloroplast, and it's really neat how you can see the green 
chloroplasts in there. And there, you can see there's some places where it's dark because the light can't get all the way through. Um, yeah. Did you know that uh, plants are green? And you probably may know this, but plants are green because the white light that the plant receives takes in all the light except for the green which it reflects off of and uh, and that's what you see is the green it takes all the other white light in uh, from the spectrum yeah so the easiest to see is right at the base of the moss stem really cool all right now I'm going to the highest level which is 2000 power it's gonna be a little darker because of the uh, amount of light that can get through at that power it does get you closer though to the chlorophyll And this is right at the stem of the moss. A little hard to focus, um, especially with the lack of light, to be able to get a super clear picture. But it gives you an idea of the components of uh, just a little moss, piece of moss. And this is what you find way deep uh, magnified that you would have never known. I don't know what this is. That's something that's off to the side. Maybe it's a piece of uh, a piece of dirt or crystal from the sand. Right at the tip here. Uh, there we go right at the tip and there that's more focused and you can see when focusing in and out that there's you know different levels uh, that uh, can be focused based upon where it is on the on the moss if you're at the top of the piece of moss then you focus there but the rest will blur out because it's a certain thickness of the uh, uh, of the leaf Anyhow, that is a nice look at this piece of moss from the actual size to using the stereoscope to get a view of the whole moss colony. And, uh, and here at the compound microscope to get a look at the actual chloroplasts and the chlorophyll inside. All right, that's it for this video. Hope you enjoyed the uh, moss under the microscope. Uh, it was a pleasure to show it to you and I learned something myself as to what moss really looks like when you look at it close. Anyway, look out for more videos. They'll be coming soon. Thanks for watching.